Do you want to see my garden? So these are sunflowers, and, and there's so many sunflowers. One, two, three. My favorite thing to do is to pick grocery strawberries and carrots. Is this your corn right here? And another one. It's a baby one. Oh, there you go. Look at that. <laughs> Actually, just this year is the first time that I even knew that there was a garden over here. It, it represents a connection to the school, something that the, the kids started as a group, as a class, and then when the pandemic hit, they left school, and so we were left to decision to either continue doing the garden or just to walk away. And I. I figured since she was part of starting it that we would try to continue it as long as we could and just stay close to the school. So for us, like the garden is way much more than just a place where you grow food. It's part of the community. It's, it's a meeting place. It's a place where kids can grow. Um, I mean, they get to learn about plants, animals. They get to meet their neighbors. Um, it, it's, it's just, it's way more than just growing food. There's such a way bigger thing than that. The garden was a was probably one of the community's most important items. We actually got it done first because we had to get it built before the gardening season started. You have a lot of containers. Community gardens are rare in this area and they're well needed. Once one goes away it's much harder to get it back. So it was critical for us to make it not only relocate it early and in time, but design it so that it'd be functional and successful for the gardeners. For the east side especially, I think that was an important part because east side normally gets forgotten about um, and they usually have things taken away, not added. So it was it was really cool to see, to see that happen. Because it's a place where everybody is welcome to come and plant and work together and share food. It's, it's a nice gathering place of differences. I think my favorite part about having a garden on the school is that um, the construction site is just, you know, we're kind of a necessary evil. But when it's when we're done, which we're hydro seeding right now, um, when we're done, this is a great um, facility to get the community and the kids and the teachers engaged together. So our hope was that we would have community gardeners in here and students and, and parents and teachers and staff and that there would be kind of cross-pollination with the teaching of gardening and with the learning of gardening and the, and the love of it and kids learning, you know, where do our vegetables come from. What is that? A carrot. Is that a good carrot? Yes. That looks like a good carrot. <laughs>